All right, this third example, here we go. Zero equals two x squared plus x minus 10. Now this one looks a little bit different than the ones that we've done over here. Our leading coefficient is no longer one, it's two. So that kind of throws a wrench into our easy way of factoring, but it's only one extra step we have to do. So let's make our little x. Instead of trying to figure out what multiplies to negative 10 and adds to one, we're gonna figure out what multiplies to negative 10 times two and adds to one. So negative 20 multiplies to negative 20 and adds to one. Since this guy is positive and this guy is negative, we're gonna have a negative number and a positive number. You kinda of see where I erased some stuff. I made this video once already and made a mistake, so I just started over from scratch. So our two numbers that multiply to negative 20 and add to one are positive five and negative four. Now, I wanna show you a different method than the box method that you remember from last year. Okay, this is gonna be factoring by grouping. It's really important that we know how to do this. So, we're gonna start with our zero equals, our two x squared stays the same. Now, we're gonna take one of these numbers and put it right next to the two x squared and we have to figure out which one really gets along with two. Does negative four get along with two or does five get along with two? I think negative four gets along with two, so we're gonna go negative four, attach an x to it, plus five x mi minus 10. All right, so we're gonna factor by grouping. We're gonna make a group here and a group here. And we're gonna take out the greatest common factor from each of these two groups. So let's do that. What does 2x squared and minus 4x have in common? 2x. Now, 2x squared divided by 2x, well that just gives me 1x left. 4x divided by 2x is 2. We're going to do the same thing here. 5x minus 10, what do those two have in common? A 5. Now, 5x divided by 5 is just x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. This was our goal, to make this guy look the same as the sky. So since both of these two blobs have an x minus 2 in them, I can factor that out. So I have 0 equals x minus 2. If I take away the x minus 2, I'm left with 2x. Take away the x minus 2, I'm left with plus 5. And we're done, we're factored but we're not completely done because we still have to follow our three, our two steps that are left. So we're gonna take each of these and set it equal to zero. And solve. Well, all I have to do here is add two and I get x equals two. This one I have to subtract five. I get two x equals negative five divided by two. X equals negative five over two. And those are our two solutions. And we're done.